Hey y'all. So I'm back. Guess who's Bizak? Guess who's Bizak? So I am ready to go. I don't know. I can't. Let me see if I can show you my outfit. But I love sweater weather. It's like one of my favorites. And I'm into big sweaters and cute socks and nice cozy comfy socks and boots. So um Hey y'all, hey. So, hey y'all, hey. That's Damien Howell, y'all. He said he a little under the weather. He making him some tea and he's already here. But anyway, so today I took off today. I had some things to take care of. And I went and got my hair. Oh, you should let me buy some crown. And I went and got my hair done this morning. So my head is really sore. This is uh, part one of my birthday weekend. So my birthday is on the 14th. Hey, Scorpios, what's up? <laughs> my birthday is on the 14th. Let me be hating because he wish he could be a Scorpio, but you know. So we're going to Slay Magazine's um, fashion show, their annual fashion show. We, it's always it's a good time. We always see um, some of our friends out there, and you know it's a fashion show. You get to see uh, different vendors set up um, selling different items and things like that. Um, so it's a good time. Very good place to be. Very good energy. The vibe is always good. Um, you see a lot of uh, black-owned businesses out there. Um, so yeah, a couple of drinks, drank in my cup. What's up? Ah! And uh, <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So whenever I finish working, I'ma log out. <clears throat> Once I log out from working, then I'ma go. I went to go find me something earlier, but it was a fail. And then I came home and figured I could find something in my closet. So I kind of came up with something in my closet. I'm just gonna put me a um, go put me what I'm gonna I'll get a sweater to go with it. And plus, I wasn't sure if I could still fit my thigh-high boots because your girl done gained some weight. So, that's neither here nor there. Are you going? You're not riding with me, are you? You don't have to. I know you said you need to get, probably go buy you a shirt or something. Whenever we finish watching Greenleaf, I'm going to go. So, oh, yeah, we finna watch Greenleaf. Y'all, Greenleaf, if y'all don't watch Greenleaf, listen, I don't know what y'all doing with y'all life. Y'all need to watch Greenleaf. Greenleaf is so good. And we only got three episodes left, so, ooh. The last episode, child. The last episode took us out. We was like, oh, my word. Ah! So, we'll figure out what the next <laughs> what this will come about. But anyway, I'll be back, guys. All right, y'all. So, we're on our way to Forever 21 to find me a sweater. And babe said that we can go to Target. Target! We're going to Target. When I get home, I'm going to put my little things on my head that I bought. I have bought these. I have bought me some lashes for the night. And what else I bought? Oh, I bought me some edge control. The edge control they put on my hair by Eben. I think that's who it's called. No. That's a no for me. Because it's a no for me because it was white all around my head. All around my edges was super white and I ain't like that. So it's a no. So my plan is to go to Forever 21. <coughs> I seen a couple of different sweaters that I liked in there earlier. So I'm gonna go over there and see if I can find a sweater to go with the rest of my outfit. Let's we'll see how they work out. Cause if you know me, I mess around and turn around, and put some jeans on with a cute sweater and be and be done. Let's know. Then why you got your head held high like that? You know, I'm just paying attention to the road. I feel like you're being rude. Take your medicine. Uh huh. When? Uh, a couple hours. Yeah, I was gonna go. 
about time to re-up though. You got, you got dope yourself every four hours. I'm about to take me some um some more Advil too. Time what? I'm gonna drink some alka seltzers when I get home. Is that gonna make you drowsy? Mm -hmm. And if you plan on drinking tonight, do you think that'd be a good idea? Mm -hmm. He don't care. I'm gonna tell you, y'all, we we gonna be late. I can see it now. Start at seven. Things start at five. I mean, it's five fifty-two. I need at least an hour for my makeup. At least. Then she gonna go in here for an hour and they gonna find that. And then she gonna try and get makeup. Then she gonna try and say, babe, can you find me something to wear? And I'm like, you couldn't find that one. Make the guy that go find something. Anyway, because he's talking nonsense. Why would you take the camera off? Because <laughs> you're talking nonsense. Because <laughs> you're talking nonsense, Damien, and I don't appreciate it. You not talk under my clothes. Wow, I'm right here. No. Uh uh. Damien and her big friend and the kids. The kids so, like unlike what Damien just said, I have me a bag. I have to pick it out for one. Tell your people, it don't matter, I got one. <laughs> you said I wouldn't go find nothing. And I did. So, now we're on our way to Target. So we can. Can you open? He, he not. You know, let me tell y'all, when y'all get married, the things they did to woo you, they don't do it no more. There was a point of time when Damien and Hal and I dated, and he would open the doors for me, or he opened the house door, or he opened the doors to different places. Now, he just unlocked the door, get in. She got hands. <laughs> I had hands then, too. Y'all can't see me. Wait till we get in Target. Let's see who take the longest now. Hmm. Nowhere. I'm just gonna look in the ladies' section. Excuse me. He don't never like me to be free in Target. Every time I come to Target, he wanna hold on to me. Yeah, some cute shirt. Now I'm gonna slay all day. Cause see, the outfit that I wanted to wear, I couldn't find the shirt that was big enough for it so but I do need a tank top this <laughs> don't do me don't, don't come don't for act me. like you didn't see us don't don't come for me don't say hey y'all hey y'all hey <laughs> look at that get that get that Hey y'all, hey. <laughs> so we made it to Slay Magazine's fashion show. We late, but we cute and late. That's what matters. Yeah, at least we wasn't tacky and late. That's what matters. We're late, but we're gonna see what I, oh, put them on. Good 
babe. Look, we got a couple of photo shoots, the photos in. You know, it was good. We got DJ Jason on the that guy over there. Fifty thousand on my head is disrespect. So offended that I had to double check. That guy. I'ma always take the money. That's the DJ. Hey, so we figure out what we're gonna eat. Then after that, I'll be there. So she's gonna make us some tea, like I said, some green teas. Somebody. I ain't gonna make nobody nothing if I can't find my cup. At some point. All these dang cups and she worrying about one. Because it's Scorpio season, okay? That's what she get. <laughs> I got a shield. Right, get. Woo! I'll be back with y'all so we find this cup. You can't just use no honey and no coffee, you know what I'm talking about? Although they say you can use butter. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it make, makes it creamy, that? but that shit, man, that's different. I would think that would make your blood, your uh, cholesterol go sky high. Who said that? I you saw it online. You can't believe everything you see on the internet. Mm -mm, okay. <laughs> that's nasty. Black lady, come back. Come back, black lady. <laughs> black lady. All right. So I think we're getting the tea with the. I'm gonna knock out my alka real quick. Yes. I'll be back. Yeah. What's the face for, baby? <laughs> What's the face for, babe? I'm gonna be ridiculed <laughs> and mocked like this. So we getting ready to go to Sephora because we're, fin we're finishing up lunch slash breakfast, breakfast slash lunch, and brunch. Even though this ain't really brunch food, but it, you know, whatever. Anyway, so I asked babe, cause we're going to Sephora. He's gonna take me to Sephora to give me some makeup. Cause you know, I'm on my makeup thing right now. And I asked babe, what was the budget at Sephora? He was like, what do you think is enough? And I was like, well, it doesn't matter. I, makeup is not cheap, so you know. You just tell me your budget and I'll tell you if it's too much or it's not enough. And he told me what the price was and I was like, okay, I could probably come out with, with three. <laughs> with, about two, with two things. I could come out with two things with the budget he gave. <laughs> That's his face. <laughs> I wish I could have got the first reaction, y'all, but... Woo! I keep on, the hair sitting on the back of my neck and I keep on getting chilled. Okay, so while I'm in here, I'm just gonna see if they got like some comfortable sweatpants and something like that to wear some just to chill in because it's time for some new ones. It's, and that's what. Oh, <clears throat> okay. damn, you gonna make me hit the thing. Come here, let me show you what I'm talking about, babe. You don't, but I'm finna just show you what I was talking about. See? This little thing. Oh, okay. Big eye. No, but look. For this. I was showing him the price of the stuff in Sephora. So he'll know. But let me look. Oh, these are cute. These are by Tarte. Oh, and they real soft. Mmm. Okay, let me see what I can find. I really want to try. That. Shimmer. Look at that. That is so bun. That's the diamond. The diamond bun. Look at that. Ooh. I'm looking for some more day. Hmm. I'm thinking about one of these palettes. 
Nice. Boo survived Sephora. I did. Yeah. So now. I did three laps around JCPenney. <laughs> And I didn't take them to the big Sephora. We went to the small one because I knew the big one with it being a Saturday going to be super crowded. So I got enough to play with. You know what I'm saying? I got enough to play with. So now I think we're going to go to Target. Mm -hmm. We're making good time. Happy birthday to me. Go to Target too. Happy birthday. My husband don't like to go to Target with me. I don't, but it's a birthday, and I am Mr. Birthdays, so trying to make her happy today. You doing a fine job. I know. So. I was about to say that. Yep. I know you were. Because let me tell you, I take pride in doing he's a good job. He's just better at this than everybody sure else. This woman and everybody knows it. Everybody knows that he's better at this than they are. This is just his. This is his thing. This is God's gift. This is what He gifted him with: the ability to make people happy on their birthday. Not saying everybody else can't make people happy on their birthday. It just doesn't be as, you know. Yeah, if you if you've been having some whack birthdays, and you like, man, I need to get back to the fun. I'll let your boy. Or don't holler at him. Or not. But. Or not. Because <laughs> I am getting old. Now, if you would have called me like when I was 33, your birthday would have been poor. Whoa, whoa. It's had all type of energy. But eight years, nine years later, I don't know until my age. Well, I ain't scared my age. But nine years later, a wife and three kids. Whoa, child. <laughs> wow. As my wife would say, whoa, child. Good child, this is just too much. Target. I'm sweating. You need to let that window up there and turn the heat off. You can't do I'm both. Turn the heat off. So now I have the burner. But you can't sweat and then let a cold air hit you. That's not. That's defeating the purpose. It's oxymoronic, as you would call it. Well, I do want to cool off though, so I want some cool air. Well, you know, just be sick then. Hit mm -hmm. down, never listen, but you want to want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, you can't not do that. You can't listen, people. You cannot sweat and then start, when it's cold outside, and then you want to take off all your clothes to cool off while you've been sweating and then you want to put everything back on because you done got too cold because you were sweating you can't do that that's how you get sicker so you sit there you endure it when you get home you can relax and take all this off sweat that crap out oh, Jesus. you always gotta get in your little old soapbox i'm in my bag right now every chance you get it's your raggedy self i'm gonna stole your head i ain't giving it back now how you feel about that I don't feel any type of way as long as you put it on. And hopefully tomorrow he won't go to church smelling like hot toddy like he be. <laughs> smelling like liquor talking to the pastor all up in the pastor's face. Hello, boy. Hello, what you say? You <laughs> <laughs> it's all her fault. That day, that, listen, y'all. He made, nobody told him to make a hot toddy before church. Not only did he make the hot toddy before church, he took it into the church. And not only did he take it into the church, he sat right next to the pastor drinking the dang old hot toddy. Like, who does that? This one. And then the pastor talking to him, he like, huh? <laughs> I'm so glad the pastor ain't judgmental, boy. Mm. He probably judged you in your head. I would have, but. Well, he ain't go off on me like Pastor Jim. If you don't know who Pastor Jim is, just like go on Facebook and just type in Pastor Jim. Or if we're friends on Facebook, go to my Facebook page and look for what's up with Pastor Jim. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. This fool, this white man went off on his congregation. Absolutely off. Individuals went up to him, pointed him out. That was hilarious. That's what that's what he do in the morning time. In the morning time, all you hear is him chuck in the bathroom just crack. I'm talking about y'all, he be having a mighty good time. Like just laughing. The videos be loud, he be laughing. I'm
Give me videos. Listen, this morning hey. though, I don't know what he was watching this morning. But <laughs> My God, it was this dude, man. It's this K comedian named K K Dub. He's a pretty popular guy, and this Negro has part of the language. This Negro has a series of videos called "Fix That Shit." So he plays a mechanic, and people come in saying they need to fix that shit. They need the cars fixed. Oh, them joints be so hilarious. Them joints had me in tears today. Oh. It was like five or six o'clock this morning. Them thing, he had him. about 10 of them. I was watching them back to back. Now you hear is him in the bathroom. Oh my God. <laughs> but nobody, nobody was asleep. I know, I'm good. I'm glad nobody was. Cause I didn't want to disturb nobody. You did a really good job. That's sarcasm, by the way. Mm. <sighs> oh, y'all look at that. Girl. Mmm. Catch that. Catch, mm, catch that sunlight. Mmm. Catch that. That's mm. so You see, girl. Mmm. Hey, y'all. Hey. Okay, so we are getting, we just finished cleaning up and stuff. We getting ready to have guests over. About eight, Damien. Um, as I said before, it's up. It's my birthday weekend, so um, Damien just planned a little shit dig at the house, shin dig at the house, and that's what we are waiting on. Um, he said he told people eight o'clock. I don't know. It's not eight o'clock yet, but I'm just saying this what he told him. So maybe he did, maybe he didn't. I don't know. But anyway, so I'm just gonna chill on the couch for a little bit till everybody get here, cause. You know, your girl is a little tired. We've been ripping and running all day, but I'll probably get up and make me a drink in the minute. Oh, actually, I'm going to make me some. I'm about to make me some tea. I got the mood all set in here. Make me some tea. That'll kind of give me a little energy because I don't. Listen, y'all, I don't set the whole mood in here. I only got that, that light on. Can you see? That light is the only light on in here. So it's a little dim everywhere else in here. Listen, I'm, um, how do I, I feel, I feel kind of, I'm, I'm really excited, I mean, I'm one of them people, I think I told y'all this before, if you watch my Let's Get Acquainted, I'm always pumped, leaning towards the moment, and then when the moment comes, I'm one of them people like, oh, I, that's me, so, once I get, once I get started, I'm fine, but, it's just the moment leading up to getting started. But um, I'm about to make me some tea in my tea kettle, and I'm gonna drink it. No, I'm gonna hey y'all! Hey. Hey. <laughs> what you ain't got? <laughs> this is my name, so y'all ain't got no Indian in y'all. I don't know if they're gonna wear Indian at all. Y'all ain't got some name grabs over here. After I finally got somebody on the phone, I'm gonna wait now. You gotta just go with what, what they're gonna get. Yeah. 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 I'm talking to Sweet 909. This is her. This is just an introduction to Sweet 909. Listen, we will see her again because we have to go pick up a bag from her. She sells custom bags and not just any type of custom bag. Go on Instagram and follow her at Sweet 909. Follow me. Hit that, hit that follow button. Hey, girl. Now. And we'll be at, at her studio to get, you know, get a good view of what she got. She make all her bags handmade, okay? So you ain't gonna be like no other chick on the block. These hands. These, these hands. These hands of mine. <laughs> so we're gonna go visit her. But anyway, y'all, so this, we about done for the night. I'm gonna catch y'all later. See you later. Peace and blessings.